everyone. So, um, I actually tried to post a live stream earlier, but it didn't work. <laughs> so I'm back now. Okay, so today my Eve Taylor, um, not my kit, but the additional stuff I ordered from Eve Taylor, apart from my student kit, arrived today. So my initial student kit actually um, came with this wash bag. So um, you can actually buy this wash bag individually um, at retail price, but um, I'm actually going to show you my student kit that's not available to the public um, by Eve Taylor, and then I'm gonna show you the additional things that I bought alongside it that I think would really help. Um, so, the first um, thing I'm going to show you are the first six bottles, and they are actually quite big bottles. Um, so, I bought some miniature travel size bottles because I thought it would actually be easier to take to and from college. Um, as long as I keep refilling them, which I don't mind doing, but they won't be as heavy to carry as um, the bigger sizes. So, so yeah, so... What I'm going to show you is, um, yeah, two bottles at a time. So, um, this is the um, cleanser and micellar eye and lip cleanser right there. So, um, these two are the initial first steps, basically, just taking off a person's makeup when they have a facial. And, um, yeah, so um, I haven't gotten to the bit with the exfoliator and the face mask just yet because we learn how to do a facial in increments and stuff so so yeah so these are the first two steps that i know of so far and um yeah so the cleanser is a creamy cleanser and if i just show you how that looks like so if i just put a little bit on my hand oh i've got to open it first <laughs> okay so it's just like a cream cleanser like that and um if i smell it um if i were to describe it um it smells like a bunch of essential oils, but because it's um, this soothing range, which um, we learned about, so there's different like ranges. It's um, so the soothing range is pink. So there's ultra soothing and soothing, which is for acneic skin, and um, the ultra soothing doesn't have any essential oils in it. I'm not too sure about the soothing though. And then there's um, three more. So there's balancing, there's purifying, and then there's a target. Um, so they all got different like colour codes and stuff, but I stuck with ultra soothing and soothing. So ultra soothing in case anyone has a uh, sensitive skin or any of my clients just react to the soothing range, which is not what we want. But um, yeah, so, um, so if I just show you the other two bottles, um, oh by the way, the micellar eye and lip cleanse. Um, ooh, that looks really transparent if you must see that. So that, that's just like a gel right there. And uh, that's just to remove, obviously, eye and lip makeup. Um, but but it, it doesn't actually have a strong smell, if I were to smell it. So, um, yeah, so now you've seen it and uh, you know how it looks like. Um, so then I'm going to show you, not in order of how we do the facials, by the way, um, but we have a soothing ex uh, exfoliator and soothing mask. So the mask is actually um, aloe vera and camellia. So yeah, I mean, it looks green and stuff, but when you actually put it on, it looks transparent. Um, yeah, so, so that's the mask. And then the exfoliating scrub. Ooh, okay, so this is how it looks like. Um, it just looks really white and it has like really tiny beads in it and these beads um, They actually disperse so they actually like dissolve basically not disperse but di dissolve <laughs> Because um, yeah, there was kind of a, a law that came out in 2015. I think um, about uh, Like if you have an exfoliator the beads in the exfoliator have to be able to dissolve otherwise it would just clog up your uh, sink pipe or whatever <laughs> so um yeah so all the e-tailers um exfoliators actually have dissolvable beads in them and then um yeah so then we've got now uh the soothing toner which is a spray and when you spray it, it's actually quite fine so i'm gonna close my eyes and spray it so just so you can see the mist I don't know if you saw that then, but that was, um, yeah, that's just basically a fine mist. 
and you use it to refresh your skin throughout the day and basically after you've washed all your makeup off your face you use this uh, toner and then it just tightens your pores and so basically for spot prone people that's really great because that means that when you put a toner on no more um, spots can actually form because your pores are closing um, and, and if you're going uh, makeup free for a day then uh, it means that basically you, um, you you have like a refreshing mist coming on your face if you, that's if you decide to go makeup free which I'm sure like most of us probably might not do um, but yeah so then so the lastly uh, we finish off with a a cream and if I were to just show you how it looks like it looks white like that and um, yeah so because this is the soothing range yeah you can still smell like mainly I'd say lemongrass I would say most of the Taylor stuff smells quite citrusy so if you don't like the smell of citrus it's probably not for you <laughs> but I love the um, the smell of essential oils and uh, just how they smell basically so then now I'm going to move on to the stuff that I bought additionally and what I bought is I bought two miniature sets which I'm going to show you and then um, I bought a serum for the face then that doesn't come with the student kit the student kit is just those six bottles I showed you so I'm going to grab the serum oh sorry I just had to grab it because I I left it on the other side of the room anyway so um yeah so then the full-sized um hmm, the only full-size thing I actually got apart from these miniature sort of set things miniature set moisturizers cleansers and toners etc um was this um ultra soothing toner and uh, I'm actually going to use this to refill my miniature toner which I'm going to show you so this is um mainly to see how well I also get along with it like because my skin's acne prone but I would say I think I can get along with the balancing range because it's apparently for normal skin and apart from my scars from picking I would say not so much acne but picking um, because I've got mild acne and I know because I've been to a dermatologist but um, if you're like a skin picker and you've got scars and all that I would say if your skin doesn't get irritated by the soothing range um, obviously not ultra soothing because that's got no essential oils in it um, but the soothing range I think has a little bit um, and still has that smell and basically if you were to shop from Eve Taylor you will notice that they have the smell of plants mainly because what they make their products out of is different parts of trees, shrubs, flowers um, and that's where they get their oils from and that's how they actually make their products so that's really great um, and also um, some of their stuff is vegan as well and mainly vegetarian um, so yeah, so you just definitely won't have any problems like if you're a vegan or just conscious about animal testing because they don't do animal testing. Um, and also, Eve Taylor don't sell to China because they um, test on animals before they sell their products to the public so they can never be sold in China. Um, that's just a random fact um, we learned at training. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get into the miniature set. And um, yeah, so... Both miniature sets come with this refining eye gel that you just put on your face um, to help reduce any like puffiness. Um, let me see what it says here. Um, yeah, it says uh, aloe vera and seaweed extract, cool and soothe, mineral rich, uh, main, uh, yeah, main algae, no, marine algae, I think it says. It's not quite clear here. Helps to reduce dry and uh, dry out and moisture loss. Okay, so that's what it says there. And then um, I just, by the way, I labelled um, these products with my name on it, by the way, because <laughs> as a beauty student or a nail technician, um, whatever you choose, uh, basically 
whether people mean to or not, your stuff can go missing, other people can take it and uh, think that it's theirs, simply because there's just no name to say that it's yours. So yeah, not that people mean to do it, but your stuff can go missing really easily if you don't label it. So that's why I've labeled my um, stuff with my name on it. Okay, and so basically you get in the soothing miniature set, you get a soothing cleanser. So this is the retail version, okay? Um, comparing it to this massive, um, you know, bottle we get. Well, it's not that massive, but um, yeah, I mean, this is 250 mils and this is just 50 mils. So I'm not actually sure whether I'm actually going to get away with um, taking the miniature set instead of the large sizes. Um, seeing as I haven't run out yet, but I've already anticipated um, what I'm going to be using already. Um, so then, yeah, so then the other two um, things that come in the soothing set, other than the eye gel, which all, the eye gel also comes in the ultra soothing set as well, by the way, that I'm about to show you. So um, I've got the soothing moisture lotion, and uh, lotion they say is for younger skin, um, but cream is for people with mature skin, which is 25 and over to Eve Taylor. So, um, so yeah, so that's the mini lotion. This is also the soothing toner as well. This is just a miniature set and you can just easily refill this or anything um, if you buy like a bigger one and still keep the small bottle. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, so then the uh, ultra soothing set now. Um, this is the ultra soothing moisture cream. And by the way, the difference is when you buy the ultra soothing mini set and the soothing mini set, you'll notice that the um, soothing mini set has got a lotion rather than a cream. I don't know if you've noticed that yet, but just to point that out to you. So this, yeah, so this is the moisture cream and in the soothing set, it's actually a moisture lotion. So just be wary of that before yeah, before you even decide that you're going to buy uh, said kit, whether it's um, whether it's soothing or whether it's ultra soothing, because um, I'm mainly touching up upon the uh, sensitive uh, skin types. So just people whose skin just goes red and reacts to um, yeah anything that's soothing um, from the soothing range. Okay, and then. Um, so the other two uh, is the Ultra Soothing Toner, which I haven't tried yet, um, and the Oatmeal and Camellia Ultra Soothing Cleanser. And I'm just trying to point them just so you can read the labels right there, because I think the light might be shining a bit too brightly. Okay, and then, um, yeah, and then uh, two other things I actually got outside of my student kit. Um, is the mini micellar cleanse iron lip. I think this is actually the standard retail size to be honest. I, I'm quite lucky that I got, hmm, let me see. Um, yeah, I got 250 mils in the student kit, which by the way is not available to the public because they actually make sure that the public can't get it because it they give you a postal order form through the college. So there's no way anybody um, can actually order that. Um, unless somebody gave them a copy of the form, which is questionable. But yeah, so so, yeah, so this is the 50 mil retail size. This is the bigger size here as a student, but I still choose to actually carry around the retail size because I find it easier to carry and I'm not even sure I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I'll find out. <laughs> okay, so the last thing now is the um, Clean, oh, not cleansing. It says clearing aromatic serum, and this is in number three. So they've got five different ones, and um, the reason I picked this uh, number three clearing serum is because this is for spot-prone people and acne-prone people, and I am both of those. So if you're any one of those, um, you'll definitely benefit from this. So basically, you would use this. Um, after you have finished the three-step system which we learned in beauty which is to cleanse, tone and moisturize um, and then then after, after you've moisturized you can add additional things to your routine like uh, a serum like this and uh, it comes with a dropper bottle as well so if I were to um, try this out just a drop there I'll just 
try and smell it for you and it describe what it smells like. So, yeah, I mean, hmm. It smells, yeah, really citrusy. Uh, I think it's the lemongrass really coming through um, because it's got lemongrass inside it. Let me read. So it's got lemongrass, cedarwood, avocado, soya oil. It's got lavender in it wheat jam, um, sandalwood, um, yeah, so it's just a, a real mix of different, um, oh god, yeah, different sort of oils and plants basically, um, but I absolutely love the smell, I think it would really benefit my skin, but um, I'm actually planning to get more than just the number three of the uh, clearing serum, because I do believe that in the long run it will help uh, my skin a little bit better. I'm really trying to get rid of the scars, like I said. So, um, yeah, what you could do is um, for the three sets system, when you cleanse, tone, and moisturize, is when you're cleansing, why not try? I don't have it on hand with me, but I've got it in my bathroom. Why not try use a Clarisonic brush? So basically, it's a. Um, I think I'll actually put the link to it down below because I believe it's that good. So basically, um, you can do a double cleanse by um, using the Clarisonic, um, but obviously what you do first beforehand is use the cleanser. So use, what I'd reach out first for is, yeah, use a cleanser first, and then um, after you've cleansed your face of makeup, what you want to do is get a Clarisonic or um, any other sort of facial brush. I think the electrical facial brushes work great. Um, I, I highly recommend a Clarisonic, um, mainly because I feel like it's cleaned my skin so well and there are different ranges of brushes as well. I'll probably have to go into that in, into detail in another video um, because I've had my Clarisonic for a good couple of months now. I think it's, it's barely been a year but um, yeah, as long as you keep it in your bathroom, um, and so cleanse your face with um, a brush, whether it's electronic or not. So basically, um, after you use your cleanser, use your brush, then um, use a toner, and then use a moisturizer, whether it's a lotion or a full on cream, which is heavier. Um, you would use lotions when it's um, hotter so that your skin doesn't become all oily if you sweat a lot or something on your face um, or if you're just young so I guess under 25 to Eve Taylor um, I'm exactly 25 so basically I think I'd probably use a cream but um, and then creams are heavier so creams um, you would use in colder seasons and uh, obviously for mature skin as well um, but lotions is if you want something much lighter. Um, so lotions are more watery and uh, smooth and they just like glide on, they spread like to a bigger area. Um, but you do need more of it, whereas creams are heavier. Um, so it depends how your skin really copes. Um, but yeah. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm so glad you came to watch my live stream. I'm going to go now. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to check out my book in the description bar below so that you uh, get to see and download, um, you know, different nail stamping designs and all that. This is a nail channel, by the way, but I am a beauty student at the same time. But I'm just going live to spend quality time with you and uh, just kind of chill, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will be making um, other nail videos as we go along as well. Um, since I'm already a nail technician already. Um, but yeah, so definitely give this video a like if you liked it and I will see you probably next week maybe or earlier. Thank you for watching. Bye.